Hi guys, welcome back to the Detail Detective YouTube channel. It's another Sunday night, which means another product review. Uh, this time, it's myself doing the product review, and not Adam, he's having a uh, week off skiing, so he's left me in charge. So I hope this goes well. If not, um, I'll have to be sacked, and we'll get him back on YouTube. So, what are we reviewing today? Well, we're doing something slightly different. We're not doing detailing chemicals or products, what we're doing is equipment and we have recently just picked up this, the Titan wet vac. Uh, we picked it up from Screwfix uh, for $34.99, um, I think it was on special offer, but I'll put the link in the description below, uh, so if you wanted to go and have a look, see for yourself, maybe buy it, then uh, you can do that. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to unbox the Titan wet vac, um, see what accessories it comes with, um, and then we're going to put it through its paces um, on my little half carry's car uh, when she arrives home from work later on. Right, so I've just uh, undone the top of the box. So let's unbox it and let's see what we get in the box of this Titan wet bag. So first of all, I can see that we've got some building to do and that we've got four casters. So we'll put those down here. Bit of paper. We'll pull that over here. We have the hose, which is fairly long. We'll pull that down here. Some extension poles. Bag. That is huge. That bag is huge. Uh, the Carter ones that we use at the moment on the WD10 are about that, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, so this looks like it's going to store more. That's been interesting. But then it has the Titan back itself. Look at this. Quite light. I guess that's because we've not really built it up yet. Um, the only negative I can see at the moment is actually putting the accessories anywhere. I like storing them. Hmm. Okay. That, that might be a negative, but we'll. we'll We'll have a look and we'll build it up and see what's what. So we'll put that down here. It has a fairly reasonable cable. Um, so we'll have a look and uh, I'll tell you how long that is. Um, so we'll look at the box. Now we've got everything out. Um, so this is a 1300 watt um, West Ham Dry vacuum. Um, okay, it's got a 1.8 meter hose. Uh, which is a 32 mil um, diameter. So yeah, um, oh, um, it says it weighs 6.2 kilos. So yeah, we can have a look at that as well. Um, and I think there's some more accessories missing. I'm guessing they're probably in the Hoover. So let's have a look at building this thing. Now you might not be able to see me for this part of the video, but at least you'll be able to see um, what's going on. Um, so let's open the Hoover up. Massive filter. Massive filter. Um, we'll have some screws. Um, a floor tool. Get it. The only important credit tool, can't, can't miss that, that is the most important thing. And the instructions. Let's have a look and see what the instructions say. So, um, safety instructions. Un 
repacking the vacuum cleaner. When you open the packaging, make sure the vacuum cleaner is not damaged. Or well, not damaged it so far. Remove the vacuum cleaner from its packaging. Verify that the standard accessories are included. Well, I've gone through uh, and looked on the edge of the box and everything that it says on there um, looks to have been included. So, thumbs up there. Um, we've got the guarantee. Um, it says, some important information for you. This appliance can be used by children aged from eight years and above. Uh, and, and people uh, with reduced physical, sensory or mental capabilities or lack of experience and knowledge if they have been given the supervision required. Right, let's have a look and see how we build it together. There's quite a bit of information in here that we don't really need. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's talk about the technical data uh, for those that are interested and also pop these on the screen as well. Um, so the power, uh, it says that it's an 1100 watt, uh, 1300 watt maximum output. The supply voltage is uh, 220 to 240 volts, uh, 50 hertz. Uh, protection is an IPX4. Uh, the tank capacity is 16 litres. Um, the vacuum pressure is uh, 20 kPa. And the weight is 5.45 uh, kilos. Getting started. Facing the tank vacuum port. Right, okay, so okay, so we need to take those off. Right. I think we might need a screwdriver here, but we'll see how far we get. So we're gonna put these casters on. These are A and B's. Come in A and B. Snap them off. So they're in A. That's a B. Okay. 
Um, I'm going to put this back together. There we go. Get good. That way. Wire out the way. So the only thing I've, I've, I've really found at the moment is there's nowhere to loop anything around. Um,
So there were some clips uh, of it being used in Kerry Fiesta and on the van. Um, my thoughts um, on it is it's pretty good as a vacuum cleaner, it's got quite a bit of suction. It doesn't seem to drag um, as some hoovers do. A um, few pointers and negative bits. Uh, there's nowhere to keep any of the accessories on or all the cable on the actual device itself. Um, it feels very, very cheap. Um, it's 34 99 for a Hoover, so I guess you can't really complain at that, but it does feel very cheap. Um, I was a bit wary about this, with the actual size of it. Um, with the car sheet that you, 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 I'm comparing to the W2, you can just put it on the end. Um, this has got this extra bit, which actually comes in useful for getting down seats and things. Um, so it's quite thin. Um, so actually, that, what, what turned out to be a negative to start with turned out to be quite positive. And of course, you can just use the end of it if you wanted to get that little bit of um, pressure onto it. Um, good bit, um, the machine is very light, um, so it's quite uh, easy to manoeuvre uh, and lift about. So if you've got a back, back or something, this machine is really, really light. Um, uh, and certainly something that um, if you've got weight restrictions on your van and things like that, that's something that I'd probably look into. Um, probably wouldn't be for a professional user. Uh, definitely if you've just got a couple of cars in your household, and you want them to use this as a, um, a van every weekend, then definitely for the price, highly recommended from us. Uh, I'll put the link uh, to this uh, in the description below. Um, check out our other videos, and um, we'll see you next week for another product review from the Detail Detective. See you later. Alright, folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube and add us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Ta ra!